Hi, friends. I'm Katie Brinkley, and you're listening to a Rocky Mountain Marketing QuickCast. These bite-sized episodes are released every Thursday and are going to give you the latest news and tips in the world of social media that are happening right now. Let's dive in to today's QuickCast episode. Welcome back to another Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast episode. Rocky Mountain Marketing is designed to help entrepreneurs just like you conquer the world of digital marketing. Today, we're going to be talking about the top social media platforms in 2023 and how to use them effectively to grow your business. In a ever-changing world of social media and a world where anyone can do business with anyone, anywhere, there are no borders anymore. If, even looking at my own client base here at Next Step Social, we have two clients that are here in Denver. The rest of them are located throughout the United States and Canada. And it's really important to remember in a digital world where anyone can do business with anyone, which platforms should you be spending time on? There's a lot of social media platforms out there. And if you're not on social media in some regard, does your business even exist? Here are my top four platforms of 2023. And I think that the list might surprise you. So number one on the list is going to be Instagram. With its massive user base, Instagram is a must have for any business. And really to make the most of this platform, you need to use all of the different ways of posting to this platform. With its eye-catching visuals of single images and pictures, the beautifully branded pictures, uh, to Instagram Reels, short form video where you can showcase a bit of your personality, speak briefly to your audience, to Instagram stories and give your viewers, your followers, the behind the scenes. And then also going live on Instagram. There's so many ways to show up on this platform. And I think that no matter how you best enjoy creating content, you can do that over on Instagram. Now I talk about this a lot uh, on this podcast and then podcasts that I guest on. For me, my Instagram feed looks very different than my client Kim's. This girl right here, yours truly, I love a good old fashioned carousel post. I'll see posts from two and three days ago show up in my feed when it's a carousel post. I'm like, oh, here, here's a, here I go swiping again. I love to be able to swipe the images, have a long caption and really read. The way that I best learn and consume content is by reading. Now, I mentioned Kim earlier. Kim's content on Instagram is basically all reels. All reels, all the time. The only time I see a single image or any sort of image in her feed is when it's an ad or sponsored content. And that's because she engages with a ton of reels. She creates a ton of reels. So Instagram's created her algorithm based on reels because they know that this is what she's going to see, what she's going to engage with the most and how she is going to spend the most time on the platform. You need to keep in mind that everybody consumes content differently. So when you're creating this content on Instagram, you have a variety of ways to show up and it never starts feeling stale or redundant. So Instagram is number one. Number two might surprise you because I am actually sticking with Mark Zuckerberg. And despite the rise of all these other social media platforms, Facebook still remains the social media giant. And whether you're setting up a business page, uh, using groups to, to get your message out there and build community, or you're using your personal page for business, it is a great way to get reach and expand your network. I recently in 2023 started utilizing Facebook for my own business more. I'd been utilizing the uh, Facebook business page for Next Step Social for a very long time, for the past three years. But it wasn't until the beginning of this year that I made the switch and started, made the decision to prioritize my Facebook personal page. I switched it over to a digital creator account 
When I did that, I got to see stats and insights. I got to get all of the metrics that you typically get only from a business account. And I started seeing a lot more people engaging with my content, but most importantly, a lot more leads coming in. So despite the rise of other platforms, Facebook is still the, a giant when it comes to online social media marketing. And whether you have ad budget to spend or not, I think it is a great idea to consider utilizing it for your business. Number three also might surprise you. I'm talking TikTok. And <laughs> for those of you that are regular listeners of the show, you know that yours truly, I'm not on TikTok. I know how to use it, but for me and my business right now, I don't have the capacity to create that much short form video. However, if you do have the capacity and you enjoy creating short form video, TikTok is a good spot for you to consider investing a little bit more of your time in. Short form video is all the rage. And while there's still a lot of uncertainty around TikTok with, you know, politics getting involved, uh, <laughs> It's still a great way to showcase your creativity, collaborate with influencers, participate in trends, and really re reach a wider audience than we've ever seen possible before. The, the way that the algorithm on TikTok works is truly unique. And if you want to be seen by a lot of people and you have the capacity for short form video, I see no reason why TikTok should not be a part of your social media plan. And number four, live audio platforms, just like this podcasts, Facebook live, LinkedIn live clubhouse, all of these live audio formats provide the opportunity to speak in depth about your business. There's something amazing about the power of voice you have the opportunity to connect with people at lightning speed and connect with them in a way that you never really thought possible. So when you're sharing valuable insights, you have the opportunity to speak with uh, other thought leaders and other power partners. You can promote upcoming events to keep your audience engaged, all these different ways of showing up through audio. And it's like having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I'm talking directly to you right now. And you have the opportunity to feel connected to me as if we were sitting in a room together. So don't discount live audio. And if you don't have a podcast, you can always guest on other people's. Think about different people that you can collaborate with, whether it's through a podcast, going live, or even clubhouse so that you can get your message out there. Remember, it's okay to start small. As I said earlier, I just started incorporating Facebook strategies into my business strategy this year because I finally had the capacity for it. As you gain confidence, as you see what works on certain platforms and what doesn't work, you can have the opportunity to add more platforms in, but start small and really knock it out of the park with that one platform. And you're probably saying, okay, those four were great, but Katie, I hear you talk about LinkedIn all the time, how you use LinkedIn, how LinkedIn is great. And you might be wondering why LinkedIn is not on my list. And while LinkedIn is an excellent platform for professional networking, I've focused in on the platforms that have a wider reach and you don't have to worry about creating long form content. Remember with, with LinkedIn, your business primarily, if, if your business primarily targets B2B or professionals, LinkedIn can be invaluable, but it's all about relationships on LinkedIn and how you're connecting with other people, who you're connected with, how are you commenting on their feeds? Are you reposting? Are you publishing newsletters, articles going live on LinkedIn? I mean, there's a lot of different ways to show up on LinkedIn. I think that it's one of my favorite tools, but you have to be willing to be a connector. You have to be willing to build community, optimize your profile, engaging with your connections. 
And if you're willing to do all that, then absolutely LinkedIn should be on this list. So now that you know the top platforms, I want to just quickly discuss about how to use them effectively. So you're always going to want to have a well-planned strategy. Your approach needs to be tailored to each platform. Like I just said, for LinkedIn versus Instagram versus Facebook, you're going to show up a different way on all of these platforms and knowing what to post, how to post, when to post, looking at the metrics and the data and the insights, it's going to help you push out the best content that aligns with your brand's goals week after week. Number two, you're going to want to in produce engaging content. So high quality, valuable content is crucial. Whether you're creating videos, images, or a podcast, you always want to keep your audience in mind. So focus on tips for what their questions are and what type of content they're struggling creating or what type of problems that they're having on a regular basis. For me, like for example... A lot of my posts on Instagram uh, for reels, for example, are about not buying followers. And my good friend, Carol, who also works in social media, she said to me one day, Katie, do people still actually buy followers? I feel like that's pretty old news. Everyone knows now not to buy followers. I said to her, well, Carol, you wouldn't believe the amount of clients that will come on with us here at Next Step Social and they have a whole bunch of purchase followers because the last social media that company they worked with said, we're going to go ahead and buy you some followers just to get started. Produce the content that your audience might not even know mistakes that they're making, what their frequently asked questions are. Number three, you're going to want to be authentic and engage. Trust and relatability are some of the key factors in driving loyalty, brand loyalty, client loyalty, uh, community loyalty. You need to interact with your followers, respond to comments. And when you do all of this, showcase your brand's personality. I, I talked earlier about my client, Kim. She and I uh, have our monthly meetings. And whenever we sit down, <laughs> man, I love Kim. She talks about 7 million miles an hour. And I, the only time I think she comes up for air is when she says, right? So when we're commenting and engaging for her, we make sure that that, that right is in her copy. When she responds to comments, we put right in there. So I think a lot of this, you have to be thinking about how would I actually be talking to my audience if I was answering this in real life? So showcase your brand's personality. Be social on these platforms and be authentic. And number four, monitor and adjust. If you're not keeping track of your data, your metrics, if you're not looking at your insights, then you're still just throwing spaghetti at the wall. You can create daily content, but if you're not looking to see what's working, what's not, is it really posting with a strategy? Is it really driving revenue? Is it really bringing in more leads? Because that's what we all want, right? This is going to help you optimize your social media presence and reach your target audience more effectively when you are checking the data and the metrics. So to sum up, choosing the right social media platform and using it effectively, it's absolutely essential for growing your business this year. So smart, start small. I tell all my clients, which one platform is your favorite? Start small. You, I'm giving you the get out of jail free card. Start small. Focus on creating valuable content on that one or two platforms and start engaging with your audience authentically. As you start gaining more exposure, gaining some confidence, you're going to be able to expand your presence and leverage even more social media networks to achieve your goals. All right. Well, before we wrap up today's quick cast episode, I'd like to invite all of you to share some of your social media success stories with me. Shoot me a DM over on Instagram or LinkedIn. And as always, be sure to subscribe to Rocky Mountain Marketing for more insights and tips on the world of digital marketing. Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. Make sure to subscribe so that you can continue navigating the world of entrepreneurship. And I'd love to hear from you. 
please leave the show a review and connect with me on social media. You can find me on Instagram at I am Katie Brinkley or connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you're ready to start making some sales on social media, be sure to grab my free guide to selling in the DMs without being spammy. You can get that at katiebrinkley.com. Let's keep taking your marketing to all new heights.